The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We continue with the prayer of the day. Let us pray. God of compassion, you have opened the way for us and brought us to yourself. Pour your love into our hearts that, overflowing with joy, we may freely share the blessings of your realm and faithfully proclaim the good news of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. We now continue with the reading. A reading from Exodus, chapter 19, verses 2 through 8. The Israelites had journeyed from Rephidim, entered the wilderness of Sinai, and camped in the wilderness. wilderness. Israel camped there in the front of the mountain. Then Moses went up to God. The Lord called to him from the mountain, saying, Thus you shall say to the house of Jacob, and tell the Israelites, You have seen what I have done to the Egyptians, and how I bore you on eagles' wings, and brought you to myself. Now therefore, if you obey my voice and keep my covenant, you shall be my treasured possession out of all the peoples. Indeed, the whole earth is mine, but you shall be for my precisely kingdom and holy nation. These are the words that you shall speak to the Israelites. So Moses came, summoned the elders of the people, and set before them all these words that the Lord had commanded him. The people all answered as one. Everything that the Lord has spoken, we will do. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. A reading from Romans, chapter 5, verses 1 through 8. Since we are justified by faith, 
we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have obtained access to this grace in which we stand, and we boast in our hope of sharing the glory of God. And not only that, but we also boast in our sufferings, knowing that our sufferings produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope. And hope does not only disappoint us, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. For while we were still weak, at the right time, Christ died for us ungodly. Indeed, rarely will anyone die for a righteous person. Through perhaps for a good person, someone might actually dare to die. But God proves his love for us, in that while we still were sinners, Christ died for us. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. The kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. Alleluia. The Holy Gospel, according to St. Matthew, the ninth and tenth chapters. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and curing every disease and every sickness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion for them because they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, ask the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Then Jesus summoned his twelve disciples, and gave them authority over unclean spirits to cast them out and to cure every disease and every sickness. These are the names of the 12 apostles. First, Simon, also known as Peter, and his brother Andrew. James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. Philip and Bartholomew. Thomas and Matthew the tax collector, James son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus, Simon the Cananean, and Judas Iscariot the one who betrayed him. These twelve Jesus sent out with the following instructions. Go nowhere among the Gentiles and enter no town of the Samaritans. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, proclaim the good news. The kingdom of heaven has come near. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out demons. You received without payment, give without payment the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. 